I wish I could have hit your dad one time, right? He's told me that. I've heard him say it to dad. And dad will tell stories about, like, in practice and training camp where, you know, he'd run around the edge and kind of go right by my dad and go, oh, gosh, I could have killed you right there, right? He'd say stuff like that all the time. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're glad I couldn't hit you right there. You'd be done, right? You know, so uh, there was always those type of stories. But, yeah, Lawrence and dad had a, had a great relationship, still do. And uh, cool to see Lawrence on there. And, you know, to the bigger picture point of all that, right, with what Lawrence is talking about, and, and, and just not to get on this subject too hard here, but I know, you know, have you seen J.J. Watt a little bit, you know, talking about some of the fines and things that are going on in football, right? You know, good for him. I've been wanting to kind of piggyback off of what he is saying here the last few weeks where, hey, we're trying to make the game safer, but are, are we really that intent on taking away money from guys all the time for everything, right? And he's done a great job on the CBS uh, pregame show a few weeks of showing plays and hits where, you know, it's not that egregious. Yeah, you'd like the player to change the way he did it. There was no penalty on the on the field, right? And you know, it was nothing egregious, even when you watch it back on film or whatever. But yeah, it broke the rules a little bit. The guy, the running back, lowered his helmet just a little bit. Is that warrant taking fifteen thousand dollars away from these guys? Like, does that warrant that? Not all these guys are making millions. Some of these guys are making hundreds of thousands a year. And it, that's not why this was put in place. So that's got to change. It doesn't seem right. It does not seem right. The egregious ones, the ones we know when we see it and we go, oh, wow, that was bad. He deserves to get fined. Sure. But if we don't even notice it in a football game and we got to look at a play back four times ago, wait, who's being fined here? I don't know even what's going on. Somebody got fined on this play. Then you shouldn't be fined. It's wrong. It seems really Here's weird, and that's my issue with that Here's little the rant there. Yeah, yeah. Here's the problem, yeah. and I don't want to get into this with JJ. I'm happy to get into it with you. Okay. The entire process is negotiated by the league and the union. Yeah, I hear it isn't you. just the league I hear you. picking money out of the players' pockets. The union is part of this and has agreed to it. All those strangely specific dollar figures are the result of negotiation between the league and the union, and we only know half the story. For all we know, the player appealed and won. It isn't final. Right. And I hope I JJ you. is explaining that when he goes off on this rant that has become his pet project. And I'm sure the NFL is pissed off about it. I'm because sure. if we were doing it all the time, they'd be pissed at us. You got to tell the rest of the story, JJ. There are appeal rights. And these hits you're complaining about, you may be finding the ones that are successful on appeal that's why the process is there the nfl is the prosecutor the union is the defense attorney it goes to a hearing officer who is hired by the league and the union jointly paid by them jointly and turns over a lot of these fines and the problem is now that the nfl is fully transparent on the fines that are imposed we never find out unless somebody leaks it or a player decides need to, to say it yeah. that the appeal was successful. And the NFL needs to do exactly. it. Exactly. The NFL every week lists the fines. Every week they should list the fines that were reduced or that were rescinded. There was an item from J.C. Treader, the union president, within the past few weeks where he listed the statistics of all the appeals that were successful last year. And it's a staggering amount. Whoever is trying to get this right in the league office isn't doing a very good job. So that's the other side of this. Yeah. It isn't just the NFL reaching in and taking that money. They're uh, trying to, and in a lot of cases, they're failing to. Yeah, okay. A lot of cases, and that's they're good. Losing. They need they they need to fail. And 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 yes, a lot of it again, I know it was negotiated. I get you there, right? But like the league's gone too far. It's gone a little too far and always trying to take the money that's away. That's why the appeal always. system yeah, there. Right. But that's so, why the appeal system. Okay, I know. That's the point. Uh, and and it needs to be it. More, more transparent through that, even though, you know, still there's a right. majority of them that, okay, it was a $15,000 fine. That still went down to a $5,000 fine. There's got to be a new system here, right? There's a little bit, oh, uh, you know, I, the I, the, the common handle. sense is allowed here. It's allowed. And that's where it doesn't For seem right. For the union right. to handle. Yeah. Right, I know, but it's for the union to handle. The union is the players, and the players have agreed to this. So there's a point where it has to just be accepted. 
This is the system they've agreed to, and if they don't like it, they're the ones who have to band together and change it. Because I don't know if they agreed on the system that the NFL was going to fine you for everything you do on a football field every game, Mike. I don't know. The the NFL has gone a little too far with the spirit of the language of the rule. I understand. Yeah. That's why the appeal system is there. Again, it's a high percentage that get overturned. I'm not saying the NFL is right in what they're saying okay, when they try to impose the fun. <laughs> my point is, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a tattoo I'll never have anywhere on my body. But but the point is this, it's only part of the story. And I don't I don't love it when someone like J.J. Watt tells half the story because I almost feel like he's pandering to whoever, that it's a popular cause to go on social media and say they're stealing money from players. It's like, dude, you got to tell the whole story. That $15,000 fine, that $50,000 fine, it might have been thrown out entirely. So I feel like some of it is a little social media manipulation. All right. So you're well, I think a little bit too say, just now I'm gonna get caring fight about with players and people I, too. You know, well, you know he showed no, some examples. Players, he if, showed some well, examples I, of plays where you go, I don't know what anybody they, did wrong. There, right. there just should be no so, fine so sent at all. Wins. There should so be the nothing sent. The appeal wins. Okay. but appeal So wins. why go through it? The NFL, what are you trying to accomplish there? That's what we're getting to the root here. What are you trying to do? Yeah. It seems like a money grab a lot of the time. It seems over judicious. They don't take the money. I know. Whatever. They don't it's keep it's the a money. wrong example. That. Yeah, I know they don't keep the money. Right. right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.